The Guy Dawson Show is coming to you live from the World Center of Broadcast Media, WCOBM.com, and you might look, notice a very large boat. <laughs> Isn't that a big boat, Quan? Wow, like how many people could go in if we fill it up? Well, that represents the old days of the boats when they were under 100,000 tons and maybe 800 to 12 to 1,600 passengers on board. Wow. Of course, now with the new super ships, uh, like Carnival Miracle, the Celebrity Eclipse, we're talking uh, anywhere from 2,000 to 3,000 passengers on board with multiple pools, bars, showrooms, lots of balcony cabins, so you really get to experience the sea just like you're uh, sitting in your private veranda overlooking the ocean. We need to introduce him, oh, by yeah. the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Wilsey is a... Um, He's a travel rep extraordinaire and a, a good friend of mine for many years through networking. And first time you've done the TV show, isn't it? Yeah, first time. Uh, it's a real pleasure, particularly here on the, the special day with your gala coming up. Yeah, Terry will be out here sharing his wares as well at the gala tonight. Yep. What would you have to ask one? Oh, I just want to know how many cruise ships you have had in, in your life. How many cruises I've been yeah, on? I have probably cruised the equivalent of at least once a year for the last 33 years. <laughs> that, as I say, I've been telling people where to go on their next vacation, how to save more money, have more fun, and maybe even turn a vacation into a business trip or a business trip into a vacation. Yeah, cruising is a lifestyle, and Becky, you have something going right now related to business and cruising. We do. We have a, a business uh, carnival cruise coming up. Well, coming up. It's September 2017, so we have a whole year to plan for it. Um, September 21st through the 24th, and it's fun, uh, all, uh, fun for one, uh, fun for all, and all for fun. Um, business, Las Vegas business owners cruising. So it's uh, just everybody at Las Vegas. Um, we've already, we've been announced it about a week and a half ago. We've already got eight cabins already take, taken for, uh, spoken for. And uh, I, I heard today several more people were planning on making the reservations. Lots of time to make payments for it. So yeah, it's fun. So Terry, you do more than just cruises, don't you? Oh yes, I do. But let me just add one little point about this is the nice thing about cruising is the fact that even if it is a business related event or business focused event you can bring your family along you can bring Absolutely. your kids along Thank there you. are fabulous kids clubs on board from age three on up through the teens uh, there's always if it's the guy there's the spa etc for the uh, traveling companion wife uh, girlfriend or whatever on the other hand if the woman is a business person then of course there's a sports bar the casino and lots of other things so cruising is a really great way oh, yeah. for a family as a whole to take advantage of the opportunities to uh, shall we say consult your travel or your tax preparer while mm -hmm. having a good time exactly. And the thing about cruises that's so great is that it's everything's together I mean you All have the food you have the entertainment mm -hmm. Just the whole environment, the spas, and the you have clubs. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm a big, big lover of cruises. You can work it out where you don't pay anything else if you, you know, are careful. There's, there's ways you can go on a cruise, and that's it's all inclusive. You can make it all inclusive. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I know uh, what we're really excited about is we can take Hobby with us on vacation because Gil's planning on taking his metal detector when we get over to Ensenada. We've been there before, so he wants to just metal detect on the beach for his reason to go to Ensenada. So he's yeah, pretty excited about that. Big yeah. piece of diamond by home. <laughs> you never know. Ah, <laughs> right, bring some happy. money back yeah. over to uh, yeah. back home. We got to find out the laws though to make sure we can do that. But that's sure. his plan is to take the metal detector. Oh, that yeah, should be fun. Yeah. I've known people to do it. I have seen people doing it on the beaches in Ensenada, as a matter of mm -hmm. fact, and in Rosarita as well. Because, of course, one of the things we do, Vegas, as you asked, is a gateway vacation, and it's also a destination vacation. And we do, of course, amongst other things, air, car, hotel, condos, resorts, whatever. But one of the things I want to mention in particular is, of course, we Hawaii. are also known as the Ninth Island here in Las Vegas. I think most all of you 
have either been to or would like to go yes. or like to go again to Hawaii. But tomorrow is a very special day in the history of America. Tomorrow is the actual 100th anniversary of the founding of the national parks here mm -hmm. in the U.S. And mm -hmm. I am proud to say that Vegas is the gateway to the largest number of acres of national parks in the country. Not the most destinations, but we have the advantage of the massive Lake Mead Conservation Area, Death Valley. We are actually as close or closer than Phoenix and Salt Lake to the Grand Canyon, both North and South Rim, Bryce, Zion, Lake Tahoe, Yosemite, etc. So we have a lot of assets here, right here in Las Vegas. And of course, we also have the good fortune of Las Vegas being the ninth island. We have lots of non-stop flights to Hawaii in case anybody needs a beach. Because one of the other big things, of course, for people in vacation and business is traveling to Hawaii, traveling to beach destinations in Mexico, though you usually don't go to Ensenada, Baja North for a beach vacation. You go down to Cabo, Puerto Vallarta, Mazatlan, Cancun, Cozumel, etc. The other thing about the national parks is the U.S. Virgin Islands are, of course, St. John Island, thanks to the Rockefeller Foundation, is 73% national park. Mm. Wow. They bought and donated to the National Park Service much of St. John Island of the U.S. Virgin Islands. And what many people don't realize is that if you want a Caribbean vacation, most people think you have to have a passport. Yeah, I just want to ask you, to would you be so free? the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, it is passport free. All you need is your good old government issued photo ID, like a driver's license. Yeah, they're territories of the United States because instead of. Because it's all part of the United States, mm -hmm. including in the Pacific, for instance, Guam. And part of the Mariana Islands. So a lot of mm. people um, don't appreciate this kind of an opportunity and of course with the discussions of you know passport challenged folks here in the US as part of the political season. Um, this is something we need to spread the word about so people can appreciate how they can enjoy more of America than the adjacent 48. I'm sort of surprised how many people even think Alaska and Hawaii are not necessarily <laughs> part of the U.S. because they're not adjacent to the 48 basic states of the U.S. Yeah. So. We live in a world now that is so driven by the internet and travel agencies used to be that a huge business where there were agents who helped people. Nowadays everybody just goes on online and books things and um, we, did, we have a little time before we go to a commercial break and briefly can you tell me why it would be advantageous for someone to work with you as compared to going on the internet well, to book? Probably the biggest one is of course obviously dealing with any of the travel suppliers over the phone you're on terminal hold number one. Number two is the aftermarket customer service with a lot of the online ones and even them are confusing but for instance probably one of the key things is there are airlines for instance that are not available on any of the aggregator travel websites that most people go to you have to know how to and where to find them you also we provide services like helping 30 minutes ago I was talking to a woman who needed to go to either Pensacola well to Pensacola Florida for her dad's 90th birthday. On the other hand, I suggested, okay, we can cut her ticket costs in half by offering her an alternative airport 11 miles farther mm -hmm. from her dad's home mm -hmm. than the Pensacola airport. Would yeah, be. Terry, will you hold that thought? Sure. We're going to go to commercial break and come back and talk more about travel and also Terry's a serious networker, someone who understands the ins and outs of the business networking game, and it's a pleasure to have uh, him as a part of the show today. See you in a few minutes.